I'm redoing the fireplace in my house and I want to replace the original mantle that came in the house when it was built years ago with this slab of hickory. I want to create a floating live edge look that's just mounted directly onto the brick without any brackets or any, anything holding up the mantle. And so it should look really cool. Now, this hickory slab on one end has got some rotten areas. So the circular saw had no problem whatsoever cutting that. But this other end is very solid. And so I went to the reciprocating saw or the sawzall and I just had a lot of trouble with this. The blade kept coming out and so I just got frustrated. I finally got enough cut to where it started to get into the rotten area to where I could just hold this thing up and just break it on into, uh, into two pieces. Uh, and since I did that, I needed to clean up the back edge that would mount up against the brick wall. To clean up the edge, I got out the random orbital sander just to go to work on it. I think I was using 80 grit, but it just wasn't doing the job, I guess, fast enough. Uh, so I got out the hand plane and went to work on it as best I could. But if you'll notice, I'm working on a couple of saw horses here, and so it wasn't the best setup. So I just did the best I could. Uh, I could have gone inside and used the vise, but I wasn't through sanding yet. So as, while I'm finishing this up, I want to let you know that I write articles on my website for every video project that I do. I usually leave a link down in the description. I'll throw a card up on the screen. Some way to let you know that, hey, there's more details on this project and it's over on my website. So if you don't normally go to my website to get the details on this project, I want to encourage you to check out the links down in the description of this video to go check it out. So this hickory has some really nice grain to it. I'm really excited about it. Um, this is a just a water-based polyacrylic clear finish uh, and it just really brings out that grain, but I'll show you more about that later. The first thing I wanted to do is figure out, do I have the right length? Uh, this slab that I've got is about five feet. And I didn't want to shorten it any more than that. So I just made a couple of marks, marked out where I wanted to drill the holes, made sure it was level. And then I just started drilling holes with a hammer drill. And I'm going in the brick right here because I don't want to go in the grout. And so after I drill the holes, I mount these little sleeves that are just called drop-in anchors. And there's a tool to set them to where it will expand those anchors up against the brick inside that hole to make a nice sturdy mounting location. Now I'm going to be using 10 inch bolts. I'm going to cut them off to the desired length and I do that for all five bolts. Now I could have very easily just put the bolts into the anchors that I've already got in the brick and just cut them off inside but I didn't want to use an angle grinder in my house. So here I'm whitewashing the brick. I'm going to do this before I mount the mantle. Uh, I'm not going to get into how I painted this brick, but that's the look that my wife and I were going for. Now here are the drop-in anchors in the brick. Uh, so once I zoom in, you'll be able to tell that these anchors have threads on the inside and that's to accept a bolt. These are hex head bolts. Like I mentioned, they're 10 inch and I cut off what I didn't need. And so now that I've got the, mat, the uh, fireplace painted, I can just twist these in by hand and then tighten everything up with a pair of vice grips and really honestly this was just as easy as driving them in um, as if the heads were on on there and using an impact wrench or something uh, i got them tight enough to where they weren't loose at all it was really really secure so i had no worries that this was going to be good enough now to get the location of the bolts and to know where to drill the holes i don't really show it here but this kind of gives you an idea i laid the mantle on top of these bolts and I took a pencil and just traced out where the bolts were. That way I could just transfer those marks up to the back edge of this mantle, make my mark in the center and drill my holes. Now for a little extra holding power, I'm just applying some really strong silicone to the bolts and the brick. I wasn't worried that the mantle was gonna fall off or anything, but I just tend to overdo things, that's just me. So here I am aligning the bolts with the holes and I'm sliding it on just enough to get my hammer and mallet so I can finish pounding this thing into place and everything turned out just fine. I wanna give a huge shout out to John Malecki. I reached out to him because I knew this was his jam. He gave me a few tips, so thank you, John. 
If you're new here or you're not subscribed to the channel, I want to encourage you to go ahead and subscribe. Hit that red button. I'd love to have you back here each and every week. I also write website articles for each of my projects where I include all of the links to the products that I used and resources about the project. I go into greater detail about what I did and sometimes even provide step-by-step -step instructions. You can find the links to those website articles down in the description of this video. So go ahead and check it out. While you're there at the website, sign up for our newsletter so you don't miss any future projects. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.